Australia's record immigration and its ripple effects. In recent times, Australia has found itself at the crossroads of a significant demographic shift. Despite the fluctuating public sentiment towards immigration, recent statistics and public discussions suggest that the nation is experiencing an unprecedented influx of new arrivals. This video update dives into the core of this issue, examining the implications of these record immigration numbers and the responses from both the government and the public. Before we continue, we highly suggest you to visit our website, where we have hundreds of expert immigration advisors registered. Just click the link in the description box and pinned comment below, and let the experts help you get your immigration problem solved. Let's get back to the video and begin with understanding the numbers. The conversation around immigration in Australia is intensifying, with recent data revealing startling figures. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, January witnessed a record-breaking 125,000 permanent and long-term arrivals, the highest since 2009. This spike didn't halt there. February followed suit with over 100,000 arrivals, marking a worrying new milestone. This surge has sparked widespread debate regarding the sustainability of such high numbers and the pressure it puts on local infrastructure, particularly housing. Now let's discuss about the public sentiment and political response. Amid these burgeoning numbers, public opinion seems torn. On one side, polls and articles, from sources as varied as the Sydney Morning Herald to The Economist and various online platforms, indicate a strong pro-immigration stance among Australians. The general consensus is welcoming, provided newcomers adhere to the societal norms and rules. However, this welcoming attitude is tempered by concerns over the practical impacts of such rapid population growth. High immigration rates have raised alarms about the strain on Australia's housing market and the overall quality of life. The government, under scrutiny, has pledged to pull its head in, aiming to bring migration numbers back to a more manageable level. Despite these assurances, the numbers continue to tell a different story. Are you wondering about the local reactions and the role of civic leaders? The strain of these changes is palpably felt at the local level. Adrian Schreer, the recently re-elected Lord Mayor of Bruin, voiced his concerns starkly. After witnessing a record number of new arrivals, Schreer commented on the unprecedented scale of immigration, likening it to adding two full Suncorp stadiums to the population every single month. His stance underscores a growing call for the federal government to take decisive action to regulate the flow of newcomers to ensure that local communities are not overwhelmed. Now, let's briefly discuss the challenges and opportunities. The challenges posed by such high levels of immigration are manifold. Local governments are under pressure to upgrade infrastructure and services rapidly to keep pace with the growing population. On the other hand, this demographic shift presents opportunities. Immigrants bring diverse skills and perspectives that can invigorate the local economy and enrich the cultural fabric of the community. Lastly, the conclusion of today's video update. As Australia grapples with these challenges, the path forward requires a balanced approach that respects the rights and aspirations of both new arrivals and existing residents. Effective policy, responsive governance, and community engagement are crucial to harnessing the benefits of immigration while mitigating its challenges. The ongoing dialogue between all stakeholders is essential as Australia continues to define its identity in an increasingly globalised world. This evolving story not only highlights the complexities of migration, but also the resilience and adaptability of a nation that has long been defined by its diverse and dynamic population. As we move forward, it remains imperative for policymakers and the public alike to find common ground in shaping an Australia that can thrive amid change and continue to welcome the new without overwhelming the old. Our video ends here. We hope you found this video update useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. See you in our next video update.